Um, okay. I'm okay, so um, my guess for this is going to be 65,000. 826. Oh, wow. 50 lower than crazy. Oh, I didn't see crazies. I'm honest. I'm not well, just saying that. I genuinely didn't see crazies. Yeah, I'm just saying you're 50 lower. So, so close to each other. But he is closer. But is he close enough? Well... No, I don't think there's any more attempts at guessing. Here it is. You've already gone over 66,000. That's insane. I think you forgot about how much giving bits gives you. from buying bits. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah, give me 350. And I just got plus 12 twice just now. Wow, I never knew you got airboats from buying bits. That's crazy. I didn't either, but I mean, hey. as, soon as, as soon as I entered it, it said I gave you bits. That's a plus 350. Plus 350. Yeah, 350. That's okay, got to be, that's gotta be uh, intentional meme bit on their end. Okay, so um, that kind of went well. Apart from the last bit where I couldn't heal. So I think my heal cards are buried too far down in my deck. So I'm going to play this. What can I use with my... Okay, let's use Tink and Cloud there. I guess we'll use Bambi's with the other heel. So we've got. Do I need to. And this is like a freaking puzzle in itself, like arranging your deck. Okay, so I've got a layer of zeros, I've got a layer of heals, a layer of zeros, a layer of heals, a layer of heals, and then all my attack cards are at the top of my deck. Um, I definitely feel like that worked better that time, not using the lightning. I don't feel like she was gaining as much health back that time. So, yeah, I think this is the right kind of idea here. We just need to... We just need to keep uh, track of where we are with our health and be more vigilant with that, I think. Lightning. Well, based on previous boss battles. Right. 
No, then freaking oh Donald, you're an idiot. I need to keep more attention on the top right hand corner. See when she is building a combo. Come on. Don't break my combo. No. I've used the wrong card. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead, 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 dead. Lost all my heals. Not to do now yeah i think i've got to keep an eye on the top right hand corner of the screen to sort of like pick out when she's going to use a want some more why is my ah, tonight um yeah be more vigilant of when she's about to use a combo so i can switch to a zero card and cancel her attack but i definitely need to do a better job of healing myself if i can yeah. get that down to if i can get that then i think we're on for a winner. That's what I've been saying the whole time. Fire. Fire. Yours and yours. She's building a combo now. She lost a combo. I've healed. I've healed. I've healed. I've healed. I've healed. Excellent. I cancel the combo. Attack again. I need my heels to come in now. Lion King. From my Oogie Boogie card. Thank you. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. 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 I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Uh, future lesson. Uh, okay. We got this. Yep, you got it on the next one. Just remember last time? Said you got it. Do it again. <laughs> it. Yeah, but last time I was about to quit the stream and then I got it, yeah. so maybe I should threaten that. Yeah, exactly. Freaking rocket. I did a much better job there, though. I feel like I like keeping an eye on her combos, though. Yeah. Oh, you had it nailed. It was just a final stage of her health. Yeah. 
having to go through seven stages of prison. Yeah. Even though, granted, some of the things you do will take you down like by a third or four percent. Yeah, it's not consistent enough. Of course, by the time. Got my heel off. Got my cards back. Fire. Fire. Yo, hypes for the three month reset. Thank you very much. Fire. Fire. Hey, hypes. close oh my god <laughs> you failed me not you failed me my health F failed me death wish f and chat f and chat yep yeah not too long hopefully before we're on kingdom hearts 2 hypes not too long at all we got the strategy though we just need to just hold it all together yeah, like you're nailing it every time until. Right yeah, up I was. I, I panicked. There was there was a moment there, and I panicked. And she was comboing. And instead of playing my my zero card to cancel a combo, I added them all to my stack, which just made, meant she could attack me that little bit. And I think without that, I could have probably done it that time. Yeah, I knew um, you could, but you didn't listen to me. I told you just to finish her off. Yeah. Okay. Just listen to that. Finish her off. Be done with it. Fire. This time you're gonna do it. Or I will unplug your internet. Does your arms reach that far to unplug my internet? Ah, uh, you beat him. You beat me. About to combo. Lightning. Fire. Not. Yep, there we go. Cancel the combo. Boom. 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 Roar. I need to get a heal in though because I haven't healed yet. Jafar this time rather than Oogie Boogie because Jafar increased my attack power.
fast thing. Reload! We got it. We did it. Oh, I think, I, I think there going to Jafar for the extra power on the on the attacks was better than going for Oogie Boogie for regen. So that's all. Hey, that's, I caught I caught it again. That's thought you had it on the last one, but I said you definitely got it on this one. Boom. I, I guess that's yeah. um. Part and parcel, though, I guess, is like, you know, trial and error. You learn things, you develop your strategies, and hopefully next time you knock it out of the park. Yeah, uh, you knocked it out of the park. Literally. All right. <laughs> Back to story. No. I got, like, almost clear of the last bar the previous time, crazy. I was literally, like, millimeters off doing it the time before. No. I refuse to lose. It's such a bunch of losers. How many? How many uh, feet are that? Painting? <laughs> no, this isn't. The way I know. I won't allow. You must be nominee. It's good to meet you. We're friends of Sora's, and my name is... You're Goofy, and you're Donald. <laughs> Congratulations, Sora. You finally <laughs> found your friend. I'm so happy for you. But she's not my friend. Gee, there sure are a lot of questions. Nominee, I know this probably won't be easy for you, but could you tell us what happened? Of course. It's my fault after all. I took the people and memories that were inside Sora's heart. And little by little, I replaced them with false memories. Hey, what about Sora's promise? Made up. It was fake. Sora never really promised me anything. Me being with him on the islands. That was a lie, just like everything else. We never met. I was never Sora's friend. And you were never anything more, either. No. You see, in all of your true memories, I was never really there. Gee. Then that must mean it was a master manipulator. Made the rest of us lose our memories too. Is there any way for us to ever get them back? I can fix everything if we go to the thirteenth floor. But Marluxia, he bet I know who that is. Was he the fellow who made you tamper with all of our memories? If I didn't obey, he said I'd be locked in this castle forever. I've been alone for so long. So you did what he told you to do because you were lonely? I'm so sorry. Don't be. Please don't cry. Oh. Of course. I know I really don't have the right to. That's not what I meant. What? It's like this. I'm really not happy about you messing with my memories. But... You know, I can't really get mad at you for it. You need a right to cry either. now. These memories you gave me. In my head, I know they're lies, but they still feel right. Like the promise I made. I said I would protect you and that I wouldn't make you cry. Not ever. Namine, if you cry now, I'll feel guilty, like I let you down. So don't cry, please. Until I get my memories back, smile and try to be happy. It's easier on me that way. Sora. Oh, brother, that's a bit much. 
It's okay. Sora always gets like this every time he's around a girl. Aw, uh, cut it out. I thought you both lost your memories, too. <laughs> too bad. Good friends don't forget the good stuff. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there. That's it. That's the nominee I remember. Yeah. I really liked it when you used to smile. Of course, that was really only in my fake memories. But what I'm feeling now definitely isn't fake. It's real. Thank you. Well then, let's go. Oh boy! I can't wait to get my memory back! Nominee? Marluxia is gonna be up there, so maybe you'd better stay down here. Yeah. Maybe you could look after Riku? We'll come get you when it's over. Okay. Please be careful, Sora. I'll be okay. I promise. All righty. Riku's uh, pretty dead down there. All right, so I'm guessing there's going to be at least two more boss fights. But if she said that we, she can fix everything and put everything right if we can go to the 13th floor, I'm guessing this may be the final floor. So... Let's see what happens. After a save, of course. You've said all that before, guys, right? Um, if I have to be honest, types, I would say it's okay because I kind of understand the concept and how to work it. And I feel like it's been better since I've been using like a magic build. The game's been easier for me to kind of play. Um, but I. I'll be honest when I say I won't be sad to see the end of it. I do kind of think like it's dragging on a little bit now, and I kind of just want to get towards the end of it. Sniper! With the raid of 11. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not just a case of like uh, doing it to finish it, because I do want to platinum all the games as well. So... Um, but yeah, it's definitely something that if I've been once I've finished the game, I can put it to the side and I can just kind of chip away at it little by little while I'm playing the others. So uh thanks for the raid snipes. How was uh the stream? What was you streaming hey, tonight? Sniper. That sniper from Yorkshire. No no sniping. <laughs> sniper. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, you was playing Alien Isolation? Is it your first playthrough, Snipes? I freaking love that game. Absolutely I think I remember playing it. that a little bit myself. Mate, I'm going to have to check out the VOD of that because I, it's seriously, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Because wow. it was... Oh no, honestly, because I'm a massive fan of the Alien franchise altogether. But... Um, for me, actually having an Aliens game, which is more based around the original movie, which is like survival horror, horror you versus the alien, rather than just like all guns blazing, was just amazing. Um, you seen the alien for the first time and met the robot dudes? Yeah, the robots can be fun. 
<laughs> the robots can be fun but yeah i think actually alien isolation was probably the first game i ever platinumed as well um as the okay. outbreak rolls in or apparently i didn't uh play that by alien isolation yeah i just searched my uh library and i typed in aliens the only thing that came up was alien versus predator predator dedicated server oh okay uh yeah that's not it i guess i've never played it i've heard of it hopefully uh, have it, hopefully but... everybody's back from ads now sorry about that um yeah so it's it's proper the alien isolation death which is like proper survival horror kind of you versus the alien scary as fuck make too much noise and it comes out and chases you all over the place um it's a really interesting watch actually if you're into that sort this sort of thing where there's a real detailed video about how the ai works in the game and the developers explain like it is generally it, it has its own ai mechanics and the alien never cheats so the way it works is right. purely purely on how much sorry uh, actually i should probably i should probably cut it there actually i don't want to say too much if snipes is uh first playthrough in well we'll, we'll carry that conversation on uh, after stream death wish when it's just me and you and uh we can't spoil for anybody but no fantastic game snipes uh one of my all-time favorites like i say uh, i love the alien franchise as well um anyway should we um uh, go back to story i think we should was it or dr buses map No, I only remember Naminé. Come on, do you guys remember anything at all? <sighs> well, sorry, Sora. It's important, but I just can't remember. I don't know if it, I, what platform are you playing on, Snipes? Um, the only reason I ask is I know with the PlayStation, if you've got a, if you've got a PlayStation, if you've got a PlayStation camera, um you can turn the microphone on and um it can interact with your environment and it listens to you if you make too much noise actually in your um playthrough so yeah you, you can make it absolutely terrifying <laughs> I okay i just looked it up on steam yeah if you can get hold of it, Deathwish, and, and you're into scary games, I would highly recommend it. It's a fantastic survival horror game. It really is. Yeah, yeah it's 40 bucks. Uh, it's often on, I think it's often on sale, to be fair. So maybe just check yeah. the wish list and see if it uh, ever gets cheap enough. Yeah, I'm not paying 40 bucks for a nine year old plus <laughs> game. Nine years old? Jeez. Didn't expect it was that year oh to be fair well, I, I was, it must be because i was playing it the year on my channel when i was um i had like the tagline 30 years in the making when i was 30 so yeah given i'm 38 yeah i guess it is about nine years old jeez now i do feel old yeah october <laughs> 6 2014 is when it was released jeez thanks for making me feel older than i am hey <laughs> uh, no matter what happens i'm always older <laughs> well that's the truth ain't it and then they have uh alien isolation season pass yeah the that's 20 freaking dollars for that you don't need to, i wouldn't worry too much about the the dlc because it doesn't yeah well, um, it's, it's more like a scenario but i never played any of the scenario based i literally just played the story a couple of times over so yeah Anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll wait for somebody to gift it to me or goes on a big sale. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's stop interrupting uh, Donald and Goofy. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Then we should really make a promise. Huh? What you said back there kind of got my brain uh, thinking. Whenever you make a promise that's super duper big, maybe it gives you the courage to face the scary stuff. 
Courage. Yeah, let's do it. And when if we get scared, or in trouble, or even if we get separated. Or even if we sort of forget each other. Whatever happens, we're friends. All for red and red for all. Trinity Limit. Inflict heavy damage on all enemies in sight. So, attack card with Donald and Goofy. Okay. I think I've got some attack card zeros in my deck, so we can possibly use that. Oh, we're straight into the... Uh... Oh, wow. The 13th floor is its own map. Okay. That's interesting. Oh. Here it goes. I guess that kind of gives me. Oh my god, this. Okay, uh, this looks pretty big. That's different. This looks pretty large. And it looks like there's. Doesn't look like there's too many ways to skip rooms either, which is yeah, interesting. Not, not until the upper left side. Yeah. All right. Let us begin. Same kind of lettuce salad. Uh, I was just, um, okay, um, we're in trouble here. I'm gonna actually do something I never do and escape. Because I'm gonna need. Oh my goodness, this is relentless. Yeah. I'm going to need a better build to handle this. Because my fire. predominantly fire magic build is not going to do anything against these fire enemies. Which is not good. So. We need to go for a more... Um, physical based deck here. Problem is, these decks are so outdated. It's going to ruin my flow a bit given that we've just been using nothing but magic for I don't know how long now. Um, okay. What to do, what to do, what to do, Deathwish? I'd say go with your gut and instincts. Do the thing with the thing. Yeah. Kind of what you have to do. Go with your gut and your instincts. <laughs> Based on everything you've done so far. Game, which is a lot. You're asking me what I've done so far. Well, I have the memory of a rock, so yeah. I have to say, though, I'm. I'm freaking glad that they actually cleared up some of the plot here because as much as I try and follow along, I do feel like it's been a bit of a weird story up to now. So the fact that they finally revealed that like Namine is manipulating our dreams is um, a great weight off my mind. Gives me the... Uh, the comfort that I haven't just missed something glaring the obvious. There's nothing worse than playing a game when you're trying to follow along with the story and you're like, you don't understand necessarily what's going on. And you start to think, did I miss something? Am I, am I being dumb? Do you know what I mean, Deathwish? Oh, yeah, because I uh, tend not 
Like, I, even if I try to pay attention to the story, come back, Hutz. It's going, my mind wanders, and it, even in my mind, I go off on tangents. So, I, I have a hard time following it unless I like stick to the game and play it like nonstop every day. Yeah. If, if I give myself three or four days, uh, and then come back to it, then yeah, I'm like, okay, what was going on? What's Deal. What's yeah. I'm, I'm terrible at that. I mean, yeah, even while I'm, even while I'm playing, it's just oh, geez. Wait, wait a minute. I wish I could go back. Yeah, re reread or re-listen to other stuff. Which some games you can. You can just go to the if you're you know you're reading and you go back to the book that you found and you read that part of the story or background. Sure, but yeah, if it's a one-time only thing, then hopefully it has the same game, uh, save, save game feature. But I'm gonna go back and do it again, but uh, yeah, my memory, you say your memory's terrible? No, I got you beat, buddy. <laughs> You're not allowed to beat me. Yeah, but I'm beating you at something that I don't want to beat you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like my wife works in um, in the community, like looking after people, and she always says, "You know, you can get you can get by in life as long as you've got your marbles." <laughs> and the minute the minute you lose your marbles, then you know you're in trouble. Man, am I in trouble? And I'm I'm only fifty. Well, in February I'll be fifty-one. Boom, going downhill. 51. Jeez. Um, but you're almost, you're almost 40. Getting there. Yeah. It, it'll Not be the there left. and gone before you know it. It's like, I feel like when I hit 40, I have memories, but it seemed like I became 50 four days later. Yeah. You know, uh, basically what they say is, um, like when you're, you know, like when you're young, a year seems like it takes forever to go by because of, you know, oh, yeah. when you're five, six, seven, it, it's a, a year is a huge percentage of your life that you live. But by the time you're getting older, 40, 50, 60, whatever, every year, seems like it just flies by even if you're not super busy but especially yeah no for, for sure i mean it, like, it's a it's a smaller percentage of your life lived one year is so uh, it does go by quicker in that sense continue my friend it's it's it is crazy like my kids have literally just gone back from like summer holiday it seems like but like they break up again a half term the end of next week it's like geez i've been at school for like six weeks already like where is that time gone it's, it's madness yeah well wait another 10 years from now mate it's it's time's going so bloody quickly already i don't have to wait 10 years uh, that that 10 years uh, i'll be 60 you'll be about what 47 six hey twisted spells you're glad glad that you found your way here you're 34 and you're always kind of worried about your age when it came to gaming dude you're never too old to game come and join come and join the old old age pensioners over here uh, rocking on twitch <laughs> twisted spells um, hey good good username for this game all right, um, let's see what this does. Oh, 30 for you. Dude, you're still good. Man, I wish I could get back to my 30s. I totally get where you're coming from, though, because like with gaming and streaming and YouTube and everything like that, it does feel like it's a young person's kind of domain. So I kind of get that it can feel daunting, but 
you know, everybody is free to be themselves. And if uh, being yourself involves uh, enjoying computer games, then you should keep being you. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that. You know, 19, whether you're 19 or 89, doesn't matter. If you enjoy games, then enjoy them. There is no age limit. There is. Play whatever you like. Whether it's the most popular, or the least popular game, you enjoy it. Something like that. Play what you enjoy. Yeah, my taste has changed a lot. Oh, jeez. Especially like 20, 20 some years. Uh, game selection. But I play gradually changed. My 20s, 30s, 40s. Now I'm on the precipice. Uh, I don't feel like your 50s is I'm, I'm there. But almost. But yeah. You enjoy it? Play it. Yeah. yeah. Simple as that. Doesn't matter what, what's the most popular. People would excite you, would figure each you to play something. Yeah. I might take a look at that Twisted Spells, because funnily enough, I've actually just uncovered my old Game Boy Advanced. So, I might actually take a look at my original game. Nice to have like something like that just to uh, take away with me when I'm on my travels. To be fair though, you say that about the cutscenes um, hypes. I don't actually feel like the cutscenes are that great in this version because if you look at them carefully, they're very, um, um, what's the word? I think it's like in interlaced, is that the word? When you get like the lines across the screen? All right, Deathwish, you're an yeah. AV guy. We'll just see yeah. like, there's like a lot of interlacing on the screens when you, um, if you watch the cutscenes. That's one uh, detail. The screen is being drawn from top to bottom. Going left to right. That's just showing like modern display is showing a whole image of so I didn't know if they did up upscale the original cutscenes with them being voice acted. Were they voice acted on the Game Boy Advance version as well? Use my new limit there, and they cancelled it. No fun. Uh, this is this onslaught is crazy. Oh, this reminds me of the fight at the um before you enter like the final fight in um at the end of the world where these guys just spawn over and over it's not it's the room before the you get to the final fight area and um you can go back in there afterwards and there's just like these those enemies are in there and they just take forever to kill it's crazy are oh, they all silent yeah we used to I, I kind of tried playing retro games for a bit um although i didn't it didn't like last particularly long 
Jeez, give it a break, dude. Stop chasing me. Huh? Here we go again. Fan of I am brand spanking new to the Kingdom Hearts franchise, Twisted Spells, yes. This is our first experience of, well, not the first experience, but this is the second game in our Monster Marathon playthrough. Where we, I'm attempting to play all of the uh, games in some way, shape or form. Um, as you can probably tell by my comments already, we have played through Kingdom Hearts 1 already. Um, I'm assuming, though it's never good to assume, that um, we are getting towards the end of this one. Although I am aware that there is, um, there is a Riku story as well, which isn't as long. So we have got to go through Riku story as well. Um, once we finished with Sora, yeah. but Dark. yeah, so we're gonna we're playing them in the order of um, they are. Because I've got the this is on the PS4 playing the Final Mix collection. So yeah, we're going through everything in 1.5, 2.5 first, then 2.8, and then uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 finally. Sorry, Deathwish, what did you say? Oh, no. What? 358 divided by two days and two around. It's better to play two first. Isn't um, that 358 days though, like, doesn't that run parallel with this game? I'm pretty sure on the collection, the um, 358 divided by two is a movie. Yes. Yeah. 179. So, yeah, I know. I call it, to be fair, I call it one Kingdom Hearts 179 Death Wish, to be fair, it's a lot easier. Um, so, yeah, once we're done with this, we'll have a we'll have a watch party of watching um, the that, and then we will move on to Kingdom Hearts 2. So as soon as we are done with rechain hypes, with Kingdom Hearts 2 will be the next game we play. We'll just go through the cutscenes first, though. So... Nasty rotten meatball that you left in the fridge for about four months, like covered. The, the, the little flying meatball with three arms. <laughs> it reminds me of the. Um, it reminds me of uh, the Kakia demons from Doom. But just uh, a black version rather than a red version. I played quite a bit of Doom, but I don't really remember that. Uh, Kaki demons are like the the red flying meatballs, if you remember them. Nah, I don't. There. I've, I've played so many games. I mean, I have between platforms like Steam, I have the most, but Steam, uh, Epic, you, you know, all, all all of the different platforms I have for games, Twitch. Amazon, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've played so many games and, and haven't finished so many games. Like I can't remember 
they all blend together to a point unless it's something that really got my attention like uh, the portal or viewfinder and you know, things like that i remember keep keep to yeah yeah i, I, I was gonna say to you actually back cube too um the uh it's coming on epic store tomorrow i didn't know if you already had it and and what in your library but i think it's going to be free on epic tomorrow with all the dlc yeah i've already played it years ago or whenever it came out but dlc no uh don't think they had dlc when i played it but it was Eh, I mean, I liked it, but it was. Eh. Yeah, I recently went back to um, the original one to finish up the trophies. I don't know if you remember when I streamed the original game on the PlayStation. I'd pretty much done all the trophies apart from the. They've got some like, time trial challenges on the game. I don't know if you remember that at all. No, yeah, and I'm, I'm not a time trial. Yeah, and to be fair, on on the PlayStation, trying to like be precise and do try and trial with the controller was just absolutely ridiculous. Oh wow, Trinity Limit is OP. Yeah, um, I gotta, uh, trying to be uh, accurate and quick with yeah. the controller is not good in an FPS. Uh, no, well, not an FPS, but a first person agree. game. Yeah, that's why I bought. Keyboard and mouse. Yeah. Wire wireless specifically for the Xbox. And yeah, because uh, FPS with the controller, there are people that are really good with it. But if you take the best controller playing gamer versus the best keyboard and mouse player, controller guy is going to get. Yeah, I kind of wish. Well, I kind of wish like I started using a keyboard and mouse a lot earlier. I just instantly would gravitate towards a controller because I've always been a console guy over a PC guy. So I naturally grew up using uh, controllers and gaming on consoles. Yeah, same here. I mean, that, that was the only way to play games when I grew up. Fun. <laughs> I mean, you know, my age, uh, I grew up playing the original at home game with Pong. Yeah. With the uh, um, Atari, Atari joystick with uh, one button on it. Yeah, Atari 2600. Got yep, that. That's it. And then got to the original Nintendo, which had the D pad. The two buttons a and yeah. b and at, i was all good with that and i freaking nailed it had no problem adjusting and then when the uh, first controllers came out for like n64 i had that i started having more trouble adjusting you know with the analog sticks Go ahead, D pad, and then now you have four buttons A, B, X, Y, yada, yada, yada. And then they started adding even more buttons. Your index fingers on the front, trigger fingers on the bottom, all that. Yeah. And that yeah, just didn't work for me. And, and then, like I've said before, 98 Unreal Tournament, that's when I learned. I was like, I can't do this. You know, keyboard and mouse, but it came much more naturally, and I picked it up pretty quick. Yeah. And, and, and I once I once I did Unreal Tournament, the original '98, '99, and yeah, I, I couldn't go back to a control, which is like no. And yeah, I mean I played them, but wasn't the same there was just no no way to compare them yeah no i agree 
certain games that you need the precision of keyboard and mouse i've come to learn and uh mainly the mouse the mouse is really the key like the, like the left hand pro stick on, on a controller is just like your wsad keys but but the right hand the mouse you can look as fast or slow as you want and spin around yeah and what and without that yeah it, it kills it for me I don't, I don't know how i've watched people play with it and they're amazing and they they ramp up their you know the the, the quickness the sensitivity yeah for when they they tap a little bit but it's like Okay, yeah, you can ramp up the sensitivity to kind of stop it for a split second and do a 360. But how do you do that quickness with accuracy as opposed to a mouse where you can move it and stop? Yeah. You know, uh, and people that do it, uh, yeah, applause to them because that ain't me. I can't do it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I, yeah, that's what I found. That's what I was saying about them when I played Cube. It's like just trying to be have that precision with a thumbstick on a controller just doesn't work. Yeah, hundred percent. But some some people are able to bow in and play yeah. well, but they're just not gonna be as good no matter how good they get. They're not going to be as good as people on their same level on a mouse and keyboard. It's not going to happen. In, in my opinion. Show so, so me something different. You have to be miles ahead of somebody. Yeah, um... The controller to be somebody on a mouse and keyboard within a person. Crazy. Oh, I'm getting trigger happy with my freaking triangle button. Oh, uh, yeah, PlayStation. Maybe X, Y, no triangle, square, circle. <laughs> yeah, I used to. It's really tricky. Like, it's not too bad now because games, Steam general, generally supports the PlayStation controller. But back in the early days, it was an absolute nightmare because all the button prompts on screen would be like Xbox buttons. So yeah, you'd have to try and remember. Yeah. yeah, you'd have to try and remember like what, where the Xbox buttons were to be able to know <laughs> what button yeah, to press. Just, just position. Because yep. like A B was the bottom. A was the bottom. B was the right one. X the left one why wow, was tough it's probably it's, it's the interestingly and i'm not expecting you to know the answer i wonder if the xbox layout is the same as the snes controller because that had the same button didn't it i'm pretty sure once they went to the a b x y it, it pretty much yeah they, they stayed the same the controllers got better uh, N64 just had that third uh, part no, in the middle that came down. Yeah, but you see, the the N64 changed it again because they went to um, A, B, and then four yellow control buttons. Um, I was saying more the um, Super Nintendo, the SNES. When that yeah. came out, um, it had your two shoulder buttons, and then you had the four... Um, a, B, and X, and Y, but I can't remember like where they were in relation to the Xbox um, buttons were either. Um, yeah, they, I mean, the controllers changed, but the the D-pad and the two analog sticks and the A, B, X, Y kind of kept carrying over no matter which shape and design yeah. they had. If my memory is even close to correct. 
That's just yes. what I remember. It, 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 the only thing I had to get used to between Xboxes or Nintendo uh, was just the shape of things and then extra buttons added. Yeah. Like like for your trigger fingers on the front, and like I said, I, you know, the bottom upper buttons and all that jazz. I've added so many buttons. Like, geez, just use a keyboard already. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's that time of the night where I am going to play retire. a portal map. Yeah, uh, that ain't happening tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe I am thinking I might stream again on Friday night. So, um, okay. yeah, I think I might do bonus stream this week. So, um, Cool. I will, because given that I feel like I'm so close to the edge of end of this now, I kind of want to push forward and try and get Sora's story done, so we can potentially look at doing other things. So um, yeah, potentially bonus stream on Friday. Um, be sure to have your notifications and everything turned on for um, all of that jazz. Um, as yeah, always, like, subscribe, click that bell. That's right. Death Wish is the. Uh, Prime promoter here for me. Um, yeah, thanks again, Deathwish, as always, for being on board. I appreciate it. Um, appreciate you having me. No worries, buddy. It helps me keep the conversation flowing. Um, we are going to Raid Marsh, who is practicing his Celeste um, community challenge, Seaside Goldberries, by the looks of it. So, um, yeah. Go and show him some love as we raid over there. But until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Just so, so, so. happy gaming. Bye, guys.